Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to share with you, uh, which is uh, my first uh, high-end, or should I say, a uh, more expensive uh, flashlight that I uh, got recently. Usually, if you are familiar with my channel, I try to uh, to give you um, the most uh, price conscious but but also uh, really good and fun products uh, which can enrich your EDC maybe your your backpack or your household so uh, yes uh, it's time to get a little bit uh, more into the, the flashlight game I would like to call it and uh, recently I came across uh, this company so the Raylight uh, and I order directly from them so usually you can also find them on some sites like uh, if I'm not mistaken just a while ago they did a deal with uh, drop which was previously mass drop but uh, this is a smaller company so uh, you you can get also a good deal buying directly from them uh, i did communicate with the owner so he is a uh, really nice person a a flashlight uh, designer engineer so he has a really uh, nice background uh, why he is uh, he's producing flashlights and this uh, 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 reminds him to his family his uh, his grandfather so if you like, uh, please go and uh, check out his uh, website. Um, I will link it down below. It is raylight.net. And uh, there is also a store from there where you can see availability because they are made in uh, batches. So this is not a, a high, uh, high quantity, large production um, OEM factory, but uh, significantly focus on to give you a, a really good product for your money okay so that's uh, about the Raylight company go check them out and what I got is the Raylight LAN the polished version oh, this is this is a uh, Raylight TI it is not uh, uh, mentioned here but uh, these come in a few uh, few variants you can also get them in a few um, materials, of course. And if you want to see the specifications on the box here, just pause the video here. I will mention them also in the video. Okay. So firstly, uh, you can see the light comes in a nice uh, box that imitates the wood. This paper, of course, to so that is light they give you two spare oars and here is the cart so Ray Yi is the owner and the engineer behind uh, this company and there are some also informations you can also scan this and go to his uh, Facebook page inside we have a cutout so this is hard foam it's always good to see that the knife and the knife <laughs> that the light is nicely protected so the main option for for the for this flashlight uh, in titanium is this nice polished version or a dark stone wash as you can see you have a few holes implemented here on the flashlight and this is for the tritium uh, insert you can buy yourself separately and then uh, install them you can you have uh, uh, you have few positions for that and there are 10 position on the light you can you insert it will take uh, 1.5 uh, 1.5 times 6 uh, millimeter
uh, treating with insert uh, vials. Okay, so uh, the product number is X001K3MHA9. Like I mentioned, it's made in China. You can buy this at a polished or a stone wash finish. Uh, it will take a double uh, A or better one. Uh, better is uh, a 14500 accumulator. Uh, I will test out with uh, my Claire's 14500 with uh, 750 mAh. So the body is made out of solid titanium uh, TI6 uh, TI6AL4V. So this is your uh, quality titanium, and uh, not your TC4 uh, titanium alloy like most uh, Chinese companies are using on knives. It's a grade five. If you're interested in those specifications, you can check them out. Um, the lead here installed is a uh, 4000 uh, Kelvin Nichia uh, 219C uh, high Cree uh, with a nice. I hope you can see it with a nice applied uh, orange peel ply a reflector. It has implemented a low voltage protection. Mm. The clip is a stainless steel. It has implemented uh, the control to avoid overheating, of course, because this light can um, get really hot on on the high setting. The, the reflector, oh, so, sorry, the, the LED protection is a hardened crystal. It can tail stand, of course. The dimensions are uh, 3.8 times 8, uh, 0.8 inches or 9.7 times uh, 2.1 centimeters. The, the weight is 2.3 ounces or 65 grams without the battery and 83.6 or 2.95 ounces uh, with the battery. has this really nice shaped pocket clip really smooth uh, threading on the part here so let's put inside the battery So let's see the. So the first mode here, as you can see, is a moon, moonshine. Or zero point two lumens. And on the. On the fourteen five hundred, it will last you twenty days, in this mode. On a standard um, battery. It will last you uh, 30. I don't know why that is uh, much more output on a standard battery, but uh, yeah. maybe it's because of the output on the next setting. So this is the low, it's 8.5 lumens uh, on with the accumulator and it will last you 31 hours 
on the double A the last of 70 hours, but uh, the but the low uh, settings uh, will drop to 3.2 lumens. Then you have the medium, uh, which is uh, on on the 14500 battery, uh, 90 lumens. It will last you 2.5 hours, and on the accumulator. Uh, it's only 30 lumens and it lasts you 5 hours. And then the last mode is the high or, or maybe turbo, uh, which will last you on an accumulator 47, uh, 470 lumens and it will last you 58 minutes. Uh, and on the accumulator, it uh, will give you only 130 lumens and it will last you 1 hour and uh, 1, 1.1 hour. So the max beam distance is 95 meters and the, the peak beam intensity is 2269 uh, CDs or candelas the battery types you can use in this one is uh, so your standard uh, NE MH AA alkaline lithium uh, primary or lithium ion 14500 And it did go back to the moonlight setting, so you need to switch it off. So let's see the, the pocket profile on this one. So it glides really nicely into your pocket. This is how much it will stick out. So size comparison, we have here my Phoenix LE9, stream my micro stream, double A battery. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the pricing. Uh, the price directly from the manufacturer is uh, 79 dollars which in my opinion uh, for a titanium flashlight is, is okay but there are also uh, lots of uh, manufacturers out there who will give you a, a titanium flashlight uh, for around uh, this price maybe some uh, which I will try to get hold on and will feature in the future uh, even a little bit less uh, than this price but keep in mind that um, you, you can still uh, go and search around for uh, better deals some some uh, maybe uh, shops or resellers will have this flashlight and will give you uh, a discount. Maybe you can visit a drop, maybe ask them that you want this flashlight and they will maybe reopen the, the drop for this one and you can get it uh, uh, much cheaper. So it all, always depends. But if you want to have uh, this light, you maybe have this uh, exact design, you like the shape of the, of the flashlight or maybe just you want uh, to buy something new for yourself maybe you, you bought in, in the maybe you bought some previous titanium flashlights so then you can of course but uh, keep in mind and also there are um, there are good people out there so um, I did uh, I did uh, talk a little bit with uh, uh, with the manufacturer so he was really really a uh, nice guy and uh, I got it really really fast okay so and this yes this would really look uh, nice with those uh, tritium uh, inserts here around here and also here
Okay, so uh, if I do recommend this flashlight, um, I will say uh, yes, because it's really straightforward. You have your four modes. Uh, you don't have to bother to uh, to to use any kind of combination uh, of uh, of groups or uh, some flashlights uh, use that, but uh, you will always uh, find your mode fast. So. Uh. So and, and yes, given that this is uh, four thousand uh, K. It comes a little bit warm in. I much prefer a, a, a cold blue color, but maybe in the future there will be another uh, another LED options also out there. Okay, so if you like the the design, if you like the like I mentioned the, the, the shape then uh, I only can recommend this flashlight go and search uh, for uh, a discount or better pricing or uh, some reseller who has them on stock and then you will be will be set and also uh, it is a titanium flashlight so you are uh, entering a, a higher end of uh, flashlight ownership okay so thanks for watching if you have any questions leave comments down below as always i'm more than happy to reply as soon as i can if you are a subscriber thank you very much if you are not please consider subscribing i try to release at least three videos per week mostly knives gear oriented and uh, yeah have a nice day see you soon bye